Luxury Swiss watchmaker Tag Heuer produces one of the world's most expensive smartwatches, the Connected, which retails for $1,500. The 156-year-old company entered the wearable tech market in November, and despite the high price tag, it has seen strong sales. So it's not what we expected. We expected the younger generation to buy, and we expected Tag Heuer customer to be interested. It's not the case. So at the end, the connected watch opens us a new customer base, which is phenomenal. That's, I mean, that's an asset we never thought the connected watch would, would bring us. The new technology also is a gamble. Bive has previously been critical of the smartwatch phenomenon. Can it be repaired in 1,000 years? Can it be repaired, let's make it easy, in 80 years? Can your children wear the watch? No. Why? Because it will not work anymore. <laughs> the technology will be gone. The company managed to solve this by giving customers the chance to trade in their connected device for an old-fashioned mechanical watch. But that came at a price. Every purist can have the watch transformed into an eternal watch, which is a mechanical watch. It means we will take the model out, the electronic model, and we will replace with a mechanical model, which is called a movement. The Swiss watch industry saw its market share suffer in 2015, not only because of the rise in connected devices like the Apple Watch, but also because of the Swiss franc, which was unpegged from the euro. With all this, we did minus 3%. What a performance. <laughs> we could have, uh, uh, you know, with all this that happened, you could have uh, expected that the Swiss industry goes down by 10%, 15%. It went down by 3%, which on a record year, 3% below all-time record. That's a phenomenal performance. Mr. Bive has also talked about potential weakness in the Chinese market. Luxury brands have suffered of late due to a slowing economy, but he says LVMH's watch division was better insulated. Some brands that are, we are competing with, they have maybe 40, 50% of their business in China, so they will suffer much more. When you have 10, 12%, it's okay. Phil Hahn, CNBC, London.